Hey. Hey, everybody. Marty Angel here, and I'm going to wait a little bit to see if we, or to see who comes on. So tonight we're going to be talking about are you settling and how is settling and playing small really affecting you and affecting your success. So often we we settle and we don't even realize we're settling. And a lot of my intuition, a lot of my ahas, if you will, come to me when I am in a state of meditation. And I hope that a lot of you guys actually meditate. Meditation is a key form of learning a little bit more about you and being able to take charge. And as I say, it's it's about you living life rather than allowing life to live you. And so that's really, really important. I'm going to take off my glasses because I noticed that I'm, I'm having the ring light kind of show. So let's talk a little bit, guys, a little bit, just a little bit about playing small. I want to tell you a story. The other day, I was really just taking stock of my life and realizing, you know, I'm always wanting to be that person that's that's helping others, wanting to be that person that people can trust. But because of that, sometimes I'm taken advantage of. Many times I've taken advantage and I settle for that. And it wasn't until I realized, wait a minute, I am settling here. And when we settle, we are playing small. And we were not put on this earth to play small. Playing small is settling. Settling, settling because for whatever reason we've chosen, we're, we don't have enough money in this moment in time. But not having enough money, guys, is, is just an energy. And it's about choices. Choices that we've made previously, choices that we're making currently, but it's all our choice. It's nobody else's, not, it's not our, it's not our employer's fault. It's not our business's fault. It's, it's because of the choices that we make. And that hit me like a ton of bricks. I was in meditation and I was asking the question in this meditation is, how can I move my, how can I move my business to the next level? And when I was actually thinking about that and just sitting in meditation, what ended up happening was it came to me like a ton of bricks. It was, wow, all of my life I have settled. I have settled because for whatever reason, I didn't want to step on any toes. I didn't want to look like I was showing off. I didn't want to look stand out. I didn't want to call attention to myself. Whatever it was, I was settling. I was playing small. I was settling for everything the way it is, the way it, it's happened. And when we settle, it drives the energy of money away. Now, I don't know about you, but I truly enjoy money. Uh, not only what it can give me and all of that, but I truly enjoy the energy of money. I love being around people that enjoy the energy of money, that know how to create more of that energy, that actually flow with that energy. And so when I began to notice, I began to notice that, oh my goodness, I am settling and because I'm settling, I'm playing small. And, and I was not put on this earth to play small. And I, you were not put on this earth to play small. We, all of us, have to let go of the idea that if we make it, no one else can make it. If I'm, if I'm the, if I'm the empowering Latina coach, 
That doesn't mean that I'm the only empowering Latina coach. That means that I'm the empowering Latina coach. And perhaps my neighbor, she's an empowering Latina coach. The difference is because we are so individual that she's going to be a different kind of coach and I'm going to be a different kind of coach. And we're going to coach so differently because we bring to the table our talents, our gifts, our energy, our loves, and sometimes our baggage. And so that just, what that means is that you have to really take a look at your life. Take a look at what you are doing, what you are saying, what are you creating in your life? And is this really what you want? Or have you settled? Have you settled? Now, I'm not saying that you should live out of your means by, by no means. But think about this. In order for me to move to a different location, let's say like right here, um, and to move to a different home, I had to, I had to pull back, make decisions so that I didn't have to settle when I made the next move, right? But once let me tell you, the first step in healing is this. You must be aware that you are settling. You must be aware that you are making choices that cause you to settle. Are you playing small because of fear? Fear makes us play small. And it even makes us play small in, and we can notice it if like, oh no, that's okay. We go to a store and we say, oh no, that's okay. Uh, uh, you don't have what I want. That's okay. I'll settle. I'll, I'll take this. At that moment in time, we're settling. Now it's okay to settle every so often, but we need to be fully aware if we're doing it more often, if we're actually settling often. Because when you begin to settle often, you begin to go in and vibrate at this, at this highway that's called the settling highway. And everybody who's always settling because they're either afraid that they're not going to make it or that people aren't going to be there or whatever it is, you settle. And when you settle, you are playing small. And I, you know, I say this over and over and over again. God did not put you on this earth to play small. Now, before I let you go and, 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 and realize that you've got to, you're the only one that can change this. No one else can change it. And you begin by being aware. Are you settling? Are you settling? Are you making a decision because you're settling? Are you playing small? Let me tell you, I want to share with you um, before I stop the live. I want to share with you a story. As I said before, a lot of my insights, a lot of my intuition comes to me when I'm in meditation. And I meditate I do my best to do it um, every day. There are days when I don't, but I do my best to do it every day. And I was in a state of meditation and I, for, it had been a long time since I had been really down deep and I was really down deep. And I asked the question, what you know, where am I supposed to go next? What is my next step? What is my next step? And I kept on asking, what is my next step? I am open to receive. What is my next step? And all of a sudden, it just came to me. It just came to me and it was just like almost a whole dream. It was a whole dream scenario, guys. It was really just a dream scenario. And it was it was so surreal that I thought it was a dream. But what ended up happening was in, in the moment, all of a sudden I, I had all of these, you know, like orbs all around me. And, um, and 
I was sort of taken by it and I was um, kind of knocked off my feet, if you will, and I was I was going from side to side. And what ended up happening was that I, I was guided by these orbs to go downstairs and, and I was in my office and I was guided by these orbs to go downstairs. And then all of a sudden I noticed that on the wall, on the wall, there were, the orbs were all just moving and moving and moving and moving. And then I sat down and I felt an overwhelming sensation of crying. And, uh, and, and then all of a sudden I looked and the room lit up. And now, mind you, this was about one o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep that night or that morning. And at one o'clock in the morning, I decided to get up and meditate. Now, so it was really dark and the room lit up. And I could hear whether it was in my head or it was out loud, I could hear a voice say to me, Marty, you need to play on a bigger stage. You need to play on a bigger stage. And it repeated this. You need to play on a bigger stage. You need to, all of a sudden I just started crying. It was just a big, I was just crying and I thought, oh my goodness. And um, I just, became overwhelmed with tears and it was just it was just really overwhelming and all of a sudden as if I were swept out of the room and into another room I all of a sudden was on a stage and there were like hundreds of people looking up at me and I was on the stage and I was on the stage and all these people were waiting for me to speak. And the voice kept saying, this is your stage. You must play on this stage. And then, you know, I, I, you know, was crying some more. And then I sat down in the meditation. I was, this was all happening so quickly. I was like, is this really happening? So, um, then I went into just a, um, a lighter meditation and then I asked the question, you know, who is this for? And of course they said me, Marty. And then I said, well, who is the message for? It's the message was for me to share. So I'm sharing this message with you now. You were not meant to play small. So You've got to ask yourself, am I settling? Because if you're settling, you're playing small. So decide. Decide, number one, to be aware, to notice if you're settling for whatever reason. And number two, decide that you are no longer going to settle for whatever it is. You are not going to settle because when you settle, you end up playing small. And I will say it again. You were not put on this earth to play small. Well, my friends, I hope you found value from this. And if you did, then would you please, and you're watching the replay, please leave me, leave me a comment below. Follow me on Instagram at Marty Angel underscore ELC, send me a direct message, say, I heard it, I like your message, say, whatever it is, just say hi. I would love to hear from you guys. I really, it, it really warms my heart and you would help me so greatly if you would watch the replay and in the comments below say, replay got value, and then follow me on Instagram. I'd love to see you. I'd love to chat with you. All right, guys. This is your Monday message, your Monday evening message. I will do, I am committing to you that every Monday I will come on and I will give you a message that will help you move your self, your business, and your life to the next level. All right, guys. Have a good evening. I hope you found value. Thank you.